Hi everyone! Welcome back to Half Moon Aquatics. Today we are here in my kitchen because I'm going to be showing you how to start two different types of live food cultures for baby betas or any type of fish, but these two in particular are good for if you are spawning beta fish or spawning any type of fish, they're just good for fry. So let's get started. The first live food I'm going to be showing you how to culture is microworms. So microworms are fairly easy to culture. In order to do that, you're going to need a starter culture, a plastic container. I am just using an old container I don't use anymore, and oatmeal. And this is just uncooked oatmeal, and I will show you what I do with it but that is all you need. You can use starch, but that is optional. You don't have to. So this is really all you need. Oh, and you do need scissors because we will need to poke holes in the top. So the first thing I'm going to do is cook oatmeal. So I'm just going to be putting two cups of water into a pot and bring that up to a boil. So once your water is starting to come to a boil, you are just going to go ahead and add your oats in and give that a stir. And let that cook. And then while our oatmeal cooks, we're going to go ahead and poke a couple holes into our lid. Important step, make sure when you are poking holes into your lid, you do not cut your finger like I did. And then once my oatmeal has cooled a little bit, I am going to go ahead and add it into my container. And I'm just going to add maybe a little more. I'm just going to add enough so that it's about an inch on the bottom, or from the bottom, I should say. And once I have added it to this container, I need to make sure that I let it completely cool. You cannot add the microman culture while it's hot, so just make sure you leave it time to completely cool down. So once my oatmeal is completely cooled down, this is where I'm going to go ahead and add the existing culture, and this is just the starter culture that I have. And so that, that's just the next step, just add the existing culture into the oatmeal. So I'm just going to give this a cut open, and then And then I'm just going to kind of mix this in a little bit. This is just a cotton swab and so I'm just going to kind of give it a good little mix. And that is all. That is how I'm going to start the culture. And then I'm just going to add the lid on top. And I'm just going to let that sit and hopefully in a couple days the worms will start to crawl up the sides and I can use them as a food source. 
So the second live culture I'm going to show you guys how to make is a vinegar eel culture. And vinegar eels are tiny little nematodes that are very good for beta fry or really any fry in general when they are just so tiny because vinegar eels are really, really tiny, almost microscopic. So they're really easy for those little babies to eat. So I'm going to show you how to make a vinegar eel culture. It's very, very easy. The things you are going to need are apple cider vinegar, a bottle, and I think it's really easy if you get a bottle that has a neck on it. I think that that is the easiest for me. You're going to need a little apple slice and a starter culture. So the first thing that we're going to do is make the solution, and the solution for these eels is half apple cider vinegar and half water and you're going to want to fill this up to about here. You're going to want it right at the base of the neck of the bottle. So now I have a bottle that is full of half apple cider vinegar and half dechlorinated water and again I've just filled it to the base of the neck of the bottle and so now I am going to add my vinegar eel culture and to do that I'm just going to cut off a little tip on the edge of the bag and I'm going to very carefully pour it into our solution. Make sure you get it all. Great. And so now the vinegar eels are in there and the last thing that we're going to do is add our apple slice. This is going to be the food for the vinegar eels. I'm just going to actually give that a shove so it goes down. So the next step I'm going to show you is going to make it a lot easier for you to harvest your vinegar eels. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our filter floss and we're going to add it to the top of this. And what this is going to do is still allow for the vinegar eels to get air, but it's going to make them have to come up to the top for them to be able to get the air which makes it easy for us to harvest them and get them from the top. So I'm just going, I think this is a little too much filter floss. I'm going to put the filter floss in so that it's in there and that it's touching the base of the water or of the solution, I mean. And I want to do that so that they can get to the filter floss. And then the next thing I'm going to do is add the top of this neck up with dechlorinated water. So now the top of this is full of dechlorinated water and the vinegar eels in order to get to the oxygen will have to come through the filter floss and sit at the top and so then you can take a pipette in here and just get the vinegar, vinegar eels out and it will be super, super easy to harvest them. So I'm going to just let this sit for a little and in maybe a couple hours we will check to see if there's any vinegar eels at the top. So it has now been a couple days since I showed you how to set up the live vinegar eel culture and I just wanted to give you an update on how the culture is doing. And after a few days, you can really just see that the top of this water is just full of vinegar eels. You can see the little teeny white lines just wiggling around. Those are all vinegar eels. So I hope that this is informative and you can go ahead and use this for your own fish fry. And... That is all for this video. If you liked this video and want to see more from Half Moon Aquatics, hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one.